Good afternoon, everyone. It's just, it's my great honor to welcome you to Camp Randall Stadium and the 170th commencement here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Look at you, wow! So we've even, it's not a beautiful sunny day, but we've kept the rain and the lightning at bay. And you know, if you don't like the Wisconsin weather, say it with me, just wait a day and it'll change. And so I suspect tomorrow will be absolutely beautiful. And in the meantime, this is a beautiful day to celebrate the extraordinary class of 2023. Today, we confer 7,826 degrees, making this the largest commencement in the history of this great university. Now, 224 of you have earned law degrees. Where are our law grads? Good, make some noise, congratulations. More than 1,300 of you have earned master's degrees. Awesome, congratulations to our master's graduates. And are you ready? 6,225 of you are earning bachelor's degrees. Let's hear from you. Woo! Congratulations, graduates. Now you have an awful lot to be proud of, but you didn't get to this day by yourself. Let's give a big round of applause for the 40,000 proud family and friends in the stands and others who couldn't be here today. This is your day too. Congratulations. We have a wonderful keynote speaker for you today as well. Former United States Attorney General Eric Holder is here. And his daughter, Brooke, is a Badger. And I hear she introduced her father to all things UW-Madison. Mr. Attorney General, I hear you're especially fond of our Starship robots. And I'm certainly looking forward to hearing you speak in just a few minutes. Thank you and welcome. Now every one of you has worked hard to reach this day. There's one group I wanna especially call out for whom today has a very special meaning. If you are part of the first generation in your family to earn a college degree, please stand as you're able and make some noise. Congratulations! That's a beautiful thing to see. I'm really so proud of all of you. Now, if you're a veteran, or serving on active duty or in the reserves, whether you're graduating or you're in the stands celebrating our graduates, please stand as you are able so we can thank you for your service to our nation. This is a day to celebrate, and it's also bittersweet. There are members of this graduating class who passed away before graduation, and we hold them in our hearts on this day. We also, this year, lost a beloved chancellor, the person who brought commencement back to Camp Randall Stadium 
Chancellor Blank often said this was her favorite day of the year. And I know she would be so proud of every one of you. As we mark this day, I also want to acknowledge that it's been a tough few weeks for our campus community. A racist video posted online caused pain and anger and frustration. I know, and I hope you know, that the hateful and harmful words expressed in that video do not represent our campus community. No matter how loud such voices may seem at times, they are not who we want to be, and we can and must resolve not to let such voices define us. At the same time, yes, thank you for joining me in that. At the same time, events like this illustrate resoundingly that we do still have a lot of work to do to be all that we aspire to be as a world-class university. And UW-Madison must still work to become a place where every person feels that they belong and that they flourish. Please join me in that hope. Now I need to say to you that this class, the class of 2023, is particularly special for me. Because in a manner of speaking, I'm also graduating, at least from my first academic year here at UW-Madison. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> and you've given me lots of good advice about how to be a badger. You told me where to look for turtles in the Arboretum. You warned me that spring would be a long time coming in sometimes painful fits and starts and then it would probably snow in April and might even snow in May. But you also showed me how to walk out on the ice to Lady Liberty, and you certainly taught me how to jump around and how to support community in this amazing institution. Now, you don't have to be a Badger fan to be a Badger, but I have to say, I've loved cheering for the Badgers with so many of you. I mean, come on, what's not to love about watching Devin Robinson spike a volleyball, right? And class of 2023, you helped us break every national record for crowd size at women's sporting events this year. Members of our seven-time national championship women's hockey team are well represented in this class. Hockey Badgers, where are you? Awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for an incredible year. Woo. Thank you for an incredible year. Now, for many of you, this may be your very last week of formal education ever. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Others of you will decide to pursue further graduate education, whether immediately or down the road. Whatever comes next, I know that you have developed the skills, experiences, and connections to others that can guide you and help you on your way. My hope for you is that your time here at UW-Madison has helped you to find and to stay true to your own personal GPS, the global positioning system that can give you a values-driven map to direct you, the GPS that lives inside of you and also outside, in your family, with your friends, and throughout your professional life. I ask you not to lose sight of that GPS as you navigate your many choices 
and opportunities. But I'm also using GPS as a shorthand for three qualities that I hope and believe that you have meaningfully developed here and that will, on top of all of your academic learning and knowledge, serve you well in the future. G for gratitude, P for purpose, and S for service to others. Values to hold on to. First, gratitude. Nothing worthwhile happens alone. You are here today through your own work and drive and talents, absolutely. But every one of you has also been the recipient of the generosity of others, family, friends, professors, mentors, and so many others who have supported and believed in you, sometimes when you didn't entirely believe in yourself. So they say thank you, often, authentically, and warm-heartedly. Remember and appreciate the support that helped you along the way. Pay it forward, and remember that sometimes you may even have received a helping hand in ways you're not even aware of. Second, purpose. I wish, I wish for each of you a life of purpose that gives you the chance to spend time pursuing things that you care about and that you find meaningful. I'm not saying you need to live with purpose every single minute. Please carve out time for fun, for serendipity, for binge watching your favorite show. There can be purpose in that too. But do ask yourself, in the words of the poet Mary Oliver, what is it that you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? And finally, service. I hope that you will be part of something bigger than yourself. And I know that that's also part of what it means to be a badger. Every one of you has a story about making a difference. And I'll tell you just a couple. Samantha Angelina and Akshay Kolra, where are you? All right. When Sammy and Akshay learned that people in our community were going hungry because they couldn't get to the river food pantry, during regular business hours, they worked with the pantry to design food lockers that allowed the user to pick up food with a limited time code, reducing food insecurity and giving families a measure of dignity. Today they receive bachelor's degree. Yes, let's give them a big hand of, round of applause. Today, they receive bachelor's degrees from our School of Human Ecology. Congratulations. And Marin Seafluth, where are you? Yay, there you are. Good, I can see you. Marin wanted to find a way to help preserve the way of life in the Wisconsin farming community where she grew up. So she developed a research project looking at how we can uplift small Wisconsin dairy farmers while also helping to reduce emissions from the big refrigeration trucks that are so important to the industry. She interned with leaders in the state assembly who are working on these issues to create better policy. Today, Marin receives a bachelor's degree from the Wisconsin School of Business. Congratulations. There are also 149 members of this class who have taken the teacher pledge and will soon be working in schools all over Wisconsin, helping to address the critical teacher shortage. To 
all of them and to the generous alumni whose support makes that program possible. Thank you. These are just a few of the stories of the way that you have already made a difference. And there are so many ways in which you will continue to do so. And class of 23, your accomplishments are especially impressive, given that most of you were just freshmen when the pandemic hit. You left on your first spring break, and suddenly everything changed. You had to learn to learn virtually. You came back to quarantines and face coverings and the Badger badge and making reservations to go to your favorite State Street hangouts. And the pandemic changed so much, but it couldn't take away your exceptional accomplishments or your connections to each other. You won national awards for academic excellence. You started new businesses. You made beautiful music together, literally and figuratively, live and on Zoom. You learned how to ask for help when you needed it. And when the pandemic ended, it ended, you helped us set a new record for the number of students studying abroad. It's pretty amazing. Through it all, you also showed up for each other because that too is what it means to be a Badger. Class of 2023, you walked into Camp Randall today for the very last time as students. And you are going to be walking out as alumni of one of the greatest universities in the world. There's no doubt you are graduating into a world that looks pretty different than the one you might have planned for when you arrived here. You've learned to adapt to monumental change. And that's about the only thing we know the future will bring. More change, and sometimes unexpected. Along the way, you've learned a lot about what it means to be a Badger. I hope you'll continue to find gratitude, live with purpose, and be in service to something bigger than yourself. And I certainly hope that you will continue to be there for each other. You share a deep bond that I know will last a lifetime. And of course, come back and visit us often. You will always find a warm welcome here. And we hope that this will always be one of the places in life that feels like home. Congratulations, class of 2023, and on Wisconsin. <laughs>